Hello Aries, welcome, welcome. This is your weekly reading for the week of the 1st to the 14th. As you guys can see, I have changed scenery. I have moved out, so yay, I have my own place. Really awesome stuff, but going straight into your reading, guys, I have a lot of messages to share for you, and the next couple of weeks are going to be very, very big for you when it comes down to waking up to a new life. Some of you are starting to really feel life again, and I think that's super important as we move forward because you may have felt as if you wasn't living life before, but you moving forward, your future is actually very bright areas because you're starting to do things differently. You're starting to pay a lot more attention to you rather than everyone else that you, you've been trying to help. This is a really good time to focus on solely yourself. And I think I've been saying this to you for a while. It's been a very heavy theme for the last year for you guys to really start to pay attention to your path, okay? As much as you wanna help other people, as much as you are these like born leaders, it's really important to make sure that like your life is being led as well and um, going down your path because people are naturally going to follow you, Aries, as a part of who you are as a person. You were represented by the emperor for a very valid reason because you can build an empire and people are willing to work for you. People are willing to be inspired by you and follow the path that you have led. So it's really important to make sure you're focusing on yourself now given the fact that we're born leaders i feel like it's only really recently that we've decided to actually acknowledge that right we've only really just stepped into our own power and for those of you you may have stepped into it before but i really feel like the next couple of weeks are going to be really huge for understanding who you are as a person and it's very impactful so i'm, I'm loving the energy coming through the first message that i have to share for you is that we're starting to see where it goes we're starting to see where life is leading us and i don't feel like for a lot of you i do see a lot of action that's being taken but for the majority of you it's really about kind of going okay i'm just going to follow i'm just going to see where life is taking me and it's almost as though you are planting a seed. Okay, one thing that I was trying to get out, the, the channeled message or the channeled vision that I could see was almost like a game. It was like a game of where you drop the ball and it starts to roll the like down this slope here and it, it starts to go along its journey, but it's almost as though you guys here are, um, are dropping this ball and now that you drop the ball, you're starting to see where it leads. So you guys are really, you're taking action and you're seeing where it goes in a project or in a plan or in anything, bear with me. I'm just trying to channel this message coming through. Um, and this is a big leap of faith for you and you might be very surprised how fast this is actually gonna go. Uh, you, you might be surprised exactly where it's gonna lead you and I do feel like there's a lot of success coming your way because of what you have decided to do, all right? And I really enjoy this. You guys are taking a leap of faith. I do see a lucky opportunity for you guys within this week or something that you might have taken before but it's unraveling a lot more within the next couple of weeks because I do feel as though we're getting some sort of reward and we're seeing where this opportunity is going to lead us. Now, a lot of you are starting to wake up to a new life a lot of you are looking after yourself a lot more a lot of you are deciding to actually engage a lot more with other people and see where that leads you you're being very experimental and i really love it because you're stepping outside of the box of who you thought you were and you're starting to acknowledge who you're becoming and i think this is very powerful and very transformational it's incredible so i love it um you're definitely heading towards a life lived only for you right you're starting to understand that this is your life not anyone else's and this is a very powerful part of the transformation as well because this is what's leading towards this experimental stuff of i don't really care what this person has to say about me anymore I'm gonna regret not doing it, right? So like you're removing the external noise, which I think is really valid. And I think it's really important that we're doing that. So I'm loving it, okay? And you're starting to see the effects of the work that you've already put in and you're starting to pursue it a lot more this next couple of weeks. Um, I do see a lot of new people coming into your life. There may be new people already in your life, but either way, I'm seeing you building new bonds with people that are very likely to um, now, you may not see these people in the future. I do feel as though they will come and go in your life, but it's a good thing. These people are here to help you. These are literally like um, soulmates, soul contracts that you have written before you even came into this world to kind of um, help you out along this journey. These are people who are gonna give to you and you're gonna give to them. And these are people that you can learn from and teach as well. So I really like these connections coming in. Um, I do see evolution in you. I love this, but Aries, I will say it has not been easy. In fact, 
correct i do see that you have been through a lot of trauma in your life but they're just really saying here that it's kind of around this time that you're healing it and evolving from your past trauma whether it's recent or whether it's ages ago however it applies for you aries i see a lot of growth from what has happened to you um and and this is what's leading towards this determination to win and it's something that's going to be a part of your success so as much no matter what has happened to you please understand that it hasn't actually been detrimental to your success it's actually going to be something that pushes you or is a catalyst towards it it never seems like it at the time trust me but it always is in the end you'll you will look back at life and go actually in some ways i'm glad that happened because otherwise i wouldn't be where i am today so i think it's really important and again you guys are understanding that this has given you the strength to move forward so beautiful beautiful stuff um one thing that spirit did say was instead of focusing on what you don't have it's time to focus on what you do this is really good to have a gratitude list within the next couple of weeks because i do feel as though this is going to bring in even more abundance which is really awesome um i'm seeing that you guys are showing yourself to the world we have the peacock spirit come out in your channeled messages as well as the lamb and both of those talk about a new you a new project that could be having to do with you for those of you who are wanting to start youtube channels for those of you who are wanting to be you know on social media like a lot more teaching people selling courses online whatever it is that you're deciding to do i see that part of the project or part of the plan is really um becoming a lot more outgoing or letting your uniqueness shine and that's what the peacock spirit is about and i do see you're starting to uh, ex experiment and express yourself a lot more which i think is really nice and i think it again it's, it's going to lead you to really cool places um and lastly we have um oh yeah we have a couple more messages for those of you who are wanting to connect a lot more to the universe or to your guides the message did come through very clearly to me that night time okay some point in the night where we're a lot more focused or even paying attention to the moon and working with the moon aries it's going to be very impactful for you and your journey and connecting to this you know source um so meditation is good around the night time um and focusing a little bit more on you know maybe if you do your own tarot cards it's really good around night time to focus and to really listen to what spirit is trying to say to you because i think this is where you're most connected because some of you might be you know late sleepers <laughs> late risers you're coming across here as people who aren't really early birds but that's okay um but night time is really beneficial to you because i think you're more relaxed and more calm which is nice um so yeah that's going to be helpful for you i do see a lot of courses coming up for you guys as well i do see you uh training i do see you being taught something here um aries and i think that's great for you too uh they're asking you to to focus though because i think we've been losing focus because of all these ideas but as long as we're focused we're okay um and there's something to do with negativity it's time to outsmart that whether it's your own mind or other people this is a perfect time to outsmart it because um, you guys are bringing in a lot of intellect within the next couple of weeks which i don't know what they mean by that but you're like i feel like i want to put my glasses on and get to work that's what it feels like <laughs> you guys are just focusing right let's have a little look and see perfect right for the next couple of weeks spirit whoa a lot of energy coming through so yeah so a lot of you are going to be reminded of certain traumas within this week but don't panic because this is what is helping you to clear it out by you focusing a lot more on the present energy coming through for you guys with the hero now card you're actually kind of seeing things as they come now this can be quite spiritual for those of you who are really really stepping into your own true power Aries, what I can see here is that you're actually paying a lot more attention to the signs, to the symbols, to spirit and to the, you know, the universe and whatever you're trying to manifest, you can start to see it form into your reality. You're starting to see the pieces form together, which is really nice, but this is only happening when you're in the present, okay? No more worrying about the future, you're going with the flow and I love it because this is leading towards this between worlds energy. I love this. This is all about you healing from your trauma. This is all about you leaving an old part of yourself behind, the old you behind that was damaged that was bruised that felt neglected that felt left out the one that part of you that you know was looking for other people's uh, validation to validate themselves right and and this is a, no longer a time where you're doing that and now you're wearing the crown and you're starting to move forward now the only thing about this card is don't 
don't um, feel frustrated within yourself. This is a part of the journey. You're one foot in, one foot out. So you're just beginning this amazing new beginning for yourself and you are starting to see the results, which is amazing. And this could very well be that new opportunity coming through. You might start to be again, shining in the limelight. limelight. You might be someone who is now starting to look after themselves a lot more and you are starting to glow a, mo a lot more too. But you're stepping into your divine power, which is awesome. But again, you might still have this energy here because we're just still in it. We're still healing from certain certain things from our past but we're moving forward and we are in fact healing which I think is amazing because we then have the clean up this is a good time to get rid of things that we were hoarding let go of things we don't need anymore friends people who don't support you people who aren't there for you and it's time to take more leadership in your life and I love this card because it is represented by the stag which is also about independence and it reminds me of the emperor here it reminds me of independence of entrepreneurship some of you are starting from scratch some of you don't really have that parental or like validation or support so you are having to and have had to like build your own self up and have to do things by yourself and this is a really positive time to spend um, some time in your own energy and understand just how powerful you are with a clean up card but get rid of anything that's not good for you okay so the next, the next, yeah, we have a lot of threes coming in. You might start to see three, three, three a lot throughout um, the next couple of weeks. I think it's really important. I think it's very important for you. So number three represents you aligning to yourself, right? This new you that's coming in. I feel like I like it. I do, I like it. I don't know if any of you suffer with like itchy skin. Like for some reason, I, I saw this deer like scratching for some reason and I felt like I had to scratch myself. It's really weird because I'm getting it from my crown. So you guys, your crown chakra is clearing out. I love that. Some of you are really starting to focus a lot more on spirituality and to live by it, right? No longer just knowing about it, but, but to live by it. And some of you are becoming very good channelers. So you could end up being you know, tarot readers. You could definitely be people who channel spirit. You could definitely be people who... Um, yeah, do all that nice stuff and, and working for the divine, which I think is very beautiful. Right, so the first card that we had out for you guys is the Ace of Swords. So within the next couple of weeks, expect clarity. Expect really awesome communication that's gonna bring you a lot of success and a lot of victories, okay? This is small wins they're saying that count. All right, so these things may not seem like a lot in the beginning, but by the end of the two weeks, you are gonna start to realize just how clear everything is and just how much things are piecing together. This is exactly what it is for you guys. Things are piecing together, Aries, for you within the next couple of weeks. Very beautiful, look at this. Healing, like I said, you are taking some time out to really understand things and just to observe. I love this energy. I love it because Aries, I do see you making big moves, but it's like you're making really small moves and those are better than the big moves. This is what I mean, take it step at a time. It may not seem like a lot when you're doing it, but I promise you, you are gonna win just from these small little steps because you know that's how you reach the big goal, right? You gotta break it down. Um, but the Four of Swords is saying that you guys are healing. You guys are getting clarity from a situation. If this is a love interest, I do see there may have been some sort of lies and deceit in the past. You're becoming a lot clearer on this, okay? You're starting to see it for what it exactly it is and you're, and you're choosing to move away from it. And with the Ace of Swords, you're gaining victory by moving away from this person or this thing because I see you glowing up a lot more, okay? But for those of you who that doesn't resonate with, either way, I just see a lot of clarity coming in and I do see as though we are deciding to pay attention to our life and you know spending some time out for ourselves i do see some people around you here aries who are who are really really there for you now this is about quality not quantity right this is about of having a few um a few friends it could be three because it is represented by the three of cups having a few friends around you who are really there for you and this is where the celebration is going to begin and i do see within the next couple of weeks you have a lot to be grateful for you do have a lot to um congratulate yourself for and be proud of and I do see some success coming in something to celebrate with you and your friends and you or your family whoever these people represent here um, but it's coming from people are very supportive of you there are a few people who really are encouraging your growth people who are encouraging you as a person moving forward and gaining this um, I want to say you're maturing but I don't mean that in a patronizing way because you can be any age but it just feels as though you're like you're really evolving to the next stage of life and you do have some people around you who are really all for it and love to see it as well which is really amazing um, but I do see a lot of laughter within the next few um, few weeks which is amazing anything else please spirit for Aries 
Oh, look at you showing up in your own reading. You are taking back your control. I love this. And this is exactly what I mean with the clean it up card. You're being more organized within the next few weeks. You're starting to take things seriously within the next few weeks. And this is what's leading you towards this success. I love it. Okay, I really, really do. The emperor really represents building an empire. So for those of you, it's really good for entrepreneurship. It's really, really good for just starting things and, and getting, and I, I feel like grinding. I feel like you're grinding within the next couple of uh, weeks which I love but again they're saying it's a small step so so even just like ringing I feel like you're ringing up certain people here you know you're building those connections networking things like that that's gonna this is a small things that mean a lot um, and will be again um, adding or contributing towards your success which is really nice but the Emperor is really really lovely for you know finding your own truth and how are you gonna find that not through other people how can you find your own truth through other people? Now, some of you, I do see you are making travel plans for the future, but I feel like it's um, it's either been delayed because the Knight of Wands came in the reverse because we're spending more time on healing ourselves and building ourselves for now, okay? This is really, really lovely card of healing. We're no longer rushing forward and again, trying to, yeah, because for a lot of you, you either built a lot of anxiety or you've kind of, um, how can I explain this? I don't want to say ruin things. No, no, no. It's because it's not that. But it's like by thinking so much about the future, you've really neglected the present, which meant that nothing really got done or things just were more of an idea than they were action. Within the next couple of weeks, I see that we're no longer rushing ahead. We're taking it slowly, okay? This is Sagittarius energy. So we're to kind of, instead of rushing forward with the positive ideas and I'm going to do this and writing everything down, you're doing it one step at a time and you're doing the first thing on the list first and then thinking about the next step. So you guys are really living in the present and this is where you're gaining control, gaining this healing, gaining these fated events that are going to be happening for you with this Aquarius energy of meeting the right kinds of people at the right time. You guys are going to feel very magical within the next couple of weeks because of the things is falling into place. I honestly, I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to title that as your video because things just make sense. Things are falling into place exactly how you need them to because you're starting to slow it down which is interesting because you're slowing things down and because you're slowing things down, it's starting to build up more space, like pace, sorry. Jeez, right, any blockages for the um, for Aries for the next couple of weeks? So we have the chariot, so again, forward movement is not as fast within the next couple of weeks, but it is gonna be picking up speed. It's really interesting. So how they're showing it to me, they're kind of saying now, like it's like a mountain, right? So you have to kind of go up. So you've been going really speedy for now. And then Aries, you kind of hit this thing of where you can't help but slow down on a spiritual level. You may not understand this when you're in it, but on a spiritual level, it's actually really, really positive for you because it means that you're going up. It means that you're elevating here. You're going up, up, up. You're gonna reach a point here, Aries, of where everything is kind of like a nice steady slope that things start to speed up. So any sort of, um, delays or any sort of um you know not, like things that are slowing down for this to be a blockage it does mean that you're actually regaining balance as you're working your way up and you're going to be at a good vantage point in the future so i wouldn't panic about that right anything else as a blockage please for the week it's cancerian energy coming through here could be getting an offer within this week that we aren't quite sure how to take because i don't think that you're really wanting to right now i'm not going to lie to you listen to your gut is what this is saying with the king of pentacles could be an earth sign as well um i do feel as though your guard is up when it comes down to either relationships um, because I feel like you're wanting to be in your own company here, Aries, and you're more focused on yourself. So um, anything that's being given to you, trust your gut. If there is opportunities here that you do not trust fully or communications that you do not trust fully, uh, listen to your own self. Because again, I feel like someone else is out for their own interest rather than yours. So just be very mindful of that, okay? You're more content with what you have right now. And I don't think accepting anything is going to be... Um, it's gonna distract you again. It's gonna, I, I think there's something coming on here of like something's gonna push you to wanna do things quick and they're asking for you to slow down because it may seem like, oh look, yeah, this is what it feels like. It may seem like, oh, let's do this and things will be speeding back up again, but this is a lie. They may not see it as a lie, but whoever's giving you this offer here again could be Cancerian energy because the King of Cups did come out. I just feel like you feel in your gut that this isn't gonna work and this isn't gonna work out right now, okay? And I think this is really important for you to listen to yourself when that happens because you are seeing clearly within the next couple of weeks, okay? 
And even if it is, like you don't even need to do it now. If you can do it later, that's absolutely fine. But I really do solely believe, especially, I, I keep wanting to do this, but I feel like it's like, you know, imagine that your crown chakra is blocked. It kind of feels like I'm like brushing off the debris here of like your blocked channeling, your channeling being blocked, but you're starting to remove it. And I, this is where the clarity is coming through. Really interesting message, but I see that you're chasing the stars, but the stars are already around you. Instead of all this saying, oh, let's go and do this because the chariot does chase the star, you're actually achieving it by sticking to what you have. It's really interesting, which is the three of cups. Not this, all right? Be very grateful for what you have. Any forward movement around this time or like fast movement isn't actually rewarded. What is rewarded is you taking your time, okay? And that's gonna be the thing that speeds things up. It's very weird, but that's just what they're saying, okay? And I believe it solely, okay? Right, let's see for you guys. Look at this, you have a lot to offer the world here. We have the mouse spirit at the bottom of the deck, so this is really all about paying attention to the details, right? Some of you, I don't know why they're saying this, but I don't know if you guys are cooking a lot more. There's something about your taste buds. <laughs> experimenting with cooking, feel free. That's probably what the Cancerian energy is about. You're experimenting. Um, no, for you guys, I do feel like it's about paying attention to the details a lot more, but please do not um, doubt yourself. The unicorn spirit for me, my message with this card is saying that you are very unique. Okay. You are extremely unique. Do not feel as though, um, because you're different that you are going to kind of be hidden away in the shadows. Your uniqueness is what's going to bring you out of the shadows and into the light because you're not like everyone else Aries. You have a lot to offer. This is also a clear sign for me that you guys are very big empaths by the way. Um, but to not let this rule you. Okay. It's very easy for an empath to catch on to other people's energies and feel really low and feel very down it's very important for you to take some time out for yourself around this time okay focus on your own dreams rather than everyone else's okay you're very rare we also have the stingray coming up and this does say this is time to align yourself focusing on chakra healing is going to be very important for you here aries to align yourself some of you could be going through kundalini healings and uh, awakening sorry as well which is really about the chakras being aligned and you're waking back up to life again and i do feel as though this is leading you towards a very different future uh, from everyone else you guys have a lot going on for you uh, within the next few years i must say um, and a lot of differences are going to be made honestly and this is how life should be lived right <laughs> um the stingray spirit is also about the fact if something is affecting you and something keeps coming up, whether it's an idea, whether it's trauma, it's coming up for a reason for us to clear it out, okay? Otherwise, it's going to keep happening. It's kind of like um, the wheel, right? We can hide it, or we can pretend it's not there and wait for it to go away, but it will always come back until you deal with it, okay? But you can see a lot more clearly within um, this week. And the next couple of weeks, should I say, right, one last card, please, for Aries for the week. Let's see for you guys what's going on. We have no more complaining. <laughs> okay, Aries, you heard them. <laughs> well, it says no more complaining. Uh, this says complaints are affirmations of victimhood, okay, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So again, you're seeing where things go. You're just allowing it. I feel like you're just doing this and just watching it go and watching it grow. <laughs> What's growing? Oh, I love this. Anyways, Aries, this is your advice for the week. I wish you all the best. Thank you for listening and I will see you guys next week.